Hi, my name is Hyla Johnson and I host an online cooking show called Hyla Cooking. Today we're going to make a pasta primavera recipe. This recipe is really simple, it's vegetarian, and it's going to use blanching to peel vegetables to prep them for other uses. So I'm going to show you this on a tomato, but you can do this with any thin skinned like kind of stone fruits like peaches, plums, apricots. The first thing you want to do is cut yourself a very shallow X in the bottom. So you can see the skin starting to split here. I'm just going to drop it into our ice bath until it's cool enough to handle. And now you can just use your fingers to peel the skin right off. It just slips off. Super easy. And there you have a perfectly naked tomato. And I'm just going to dice it up. So put it cut side down to keep it stable. Transfer it into a bowl here. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to roll it on the counter to get it good and juicy. Okay. Next we're going to add some garlic. And you can use a garlic press for this. I like to just mince it by hand. So our garlic is in there with our tomatoes and everything. I'm going to add some fresh herbs now. I'm using oregano, basil, and parsley, but you can really use whatever you have on hand, any one of these, any combination. You can just kind of pick the leaves off the stem like that, hold them sort of against the grain, and they just pop right off. The quickest way, I think, to chop a bunch of herbs at once is to sort of make a little pile here. We're going to use our biggest basil leaves as sort of a boat to pile everything into the middle of it. Just cram it in there, roll it up, and now everything's all minced up at once. And if you only have dried herbs, that's okay too. And finally, we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. All right, give it a stir, and we're just gonna set this aside while we get our vegetables prepped and our pasta cooked, the tomatoes are just going to kind of break down into a wonderful, beautiful sauce. All right, well, that's coming to a boil. I'm going to start with my broccoli. I'm using broccoli, carrots, and green beans, but you can use whatever vegetables that you like or that you have. Just going to remove the florets. Hang on to your broccoli stalk. You can use this in veggie burgers or in soup. You just want to try to make them all about the same size. So halves or quarters. And set those aside. Next we got some carrots. And I'm going to cut these into julienne. You can peel your carrots if you like, but I'm going to leave my peels on because they retain more nutrients that way. And then just cut it into thin strips. So I've got these julienned. And then I've just got some green beans that I popped the stems off of and cut into one inch lengths. For our pasta, I'm using a whole grain rotini. You can use any kind of pasta that you like. And just give it a little stir. I'm gonna put our lid back on it so it comes back to boil faster, but leave it a little bit ajar so your pasta doesn't boil over. I'm gonna set our timer for 10 minutes. And now we wait. So it's been about 10 minutes. My pasta is almost cooked. We're going to go ahead and add in our vegetables now. So we're just going to blanch our vegetables for a couple minutes with the last few minutes of the pasta cooking time. Just two minutes later, take a look, and you can see our vegetables are bright green. They're nicely blanched. We'll just drain it. Unlike when we blanch vegetables to preserve them in the freezer, we're just going to leave these hot and we're not going to shock them in an ice bath or anything since we're serving this as a hot dish. All right, it's all combined. We're ready to serve. It's 
So there you have it, a super easy vegetarian pasta primavera dish with blanched vegetables. I'm Hyla for Co-op Stronger Together, and I'm gonna give this a taste. That's good, you're gonna like this.